to talk more about what the next 15 years could mean for Google and big tech. We're joined this morning by Jeffrey's analyst, Brent Thrill, also New York Times a reporter and CBC contributor, Ed Lee. Good morning to both of you. Um, let, let's, let's sort of map this out. 15 years from now, do you think we will be talking about Google in the same breath that we are all of these other companies, or, I mean, or is this going to be like IBM 15 years ago? Brent. I don't think it's going to be the same company we, we've seen, but we certainly think that they're on a, a great trajectory with a lot of the new initiatives. When you look at Waymo, the cloud, the hardware business, even the healthcare business, there's a lot of promise in these emerging businesses. We've talked about Waymo potentially adding 200 to 250 billion dollars to the market cap over time, as the technology is way above those uh, others and not autonomous right now. So we, we think there's some excitement, but today those are lower margin businesses, and that's what's been dragging down the stock on some of these new initiatives. Uh, so I think it, we've got an air pocket, if you will. Uh, the ad business is doing great, but the new initiatives aren't really ready. And so investors are just waiting for these new, uh, these new initiatives to come online, which will probably still take another couple of years before we see meaningful revenue. Ed, where do you land on that? So Meaning, I, do you look at the old tech companies, right. which we don't talk about, you know, they aren't the fangs anymore, right? right? And they're so, the established. They're, they're, the, they're right. not the upstarts and anymore. So, but Google's not place. the By the way, Google is now the establishment, too. They absolutely are the establishment. What's interesting about Google, to, to try to answer your question in terms of what they look like 15 years from now, they're... Google has always had this very interesting dichotomy of the sort of schizophrenia. The founders are these tech guys, are hardcore tech guys. They love sort of this garage startup mentality. They started literally in a garage. Um, but at the same time, their business is driven by advertising. You know, and that was something that Eric Schmidt put in place. They right. didn't know, Larry and Sergey didn't know how to create a business out of it until Eric Schmidt came along and said, you know what, we need to sell advertising. Well, how do you do that? So they created something, and I think that double-click acquisition actually was one of the, the most important things that they could have done as a business. So they're driven by advertising. It's actually a traditional business, even though they figured out new models for it. But the, the founders, the guys, Larry Page, the CEO, he likes to tinker with, like, what's the next big tech thing? So... If it's going to sort of not be an IBM in the future, yeah, they should keep that mentality going. But at the same time, they're really going to grow. It's like, where's, where are these big ad dollars going to come from in the next few years? Because as the traditional sort of ad sources right. are shrinking, there's an opportunity for them. They get a lot of the long tail advertising, but they don't get sort of always the what big What about all these other bets? They have made more bets than just about any other company yeah. out there. Well, so and they, and they don't get credit for right. self-driving cars, you know, drones, all these other things. Who knows what it's going to be? I think that's their play, too. They don't know either. They just think they need to be playing in that space. They need to get as many people online as possible all the time to fuel their ad business. Right. So I think that's how they're, that's their mentality. Brent, real quick, what's the chance, though, this is Microsoft? The good news is that Microsoft today is actually a re remarkably robust company. The bad news is they went through what might be described as a, 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 a very torturous period with the U.S. government. They went through a decade of uh, really stock doing nothing, and Nadella really saved the company along with Amy Hood. Uh, so we think Google's going through a little bit of the same situation. They're looking for the next thing. They've got the regulatory overhang. Investors are paying a higher multiple for Walmart now than Google, higher mar mar multiple for others. So we think they're going through that right now, and we're going through this digestion period, if you will. Uh, so that's definitely been a hangover. The stock's underperformed on a one- and three-year basis to the market and some of the peer group. And, and that's, that's happening with other stories like Amazon and Facebook doing as well as they are with really high margins at Facebook and improving margins at Amazon. I think investors, you know, focuses in other places right now.